Okay guys, so this is where I'm at. This is how much I I done. Start nine o'clock right now. It's five o'clock. Let's give you guys an idea of how much you can get done. Go all the way around to the front. So I finished the entire back, the entire skirting. So today we are on to our day two of this new project here. We are installing some um, some man-made uh, permic and stone. We already finished that section over there and we're just gonna continue on to work our way around this section here. I'm not even gonna keep you guys waiting. With no further ado, let's dive right into the video. Before we jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this one. Coming up in this video is lots of tips and tricks of how to lay man-made stone. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. Let's get started. More brick time, guys. What I'm trying to do here, guys, I'm trying to get the level. Before I continue on, that way I know that once I get to level, I can just continue on at the same level. As you see, that's why I'm trying to build up one side here. Problem. It's not against the rules. We're trying to find doing it. Hey guys, one of my one of my subscriber asked me why I I mentioned not to put a medium on top of a medium and I do it. But sometimes you have to, you know. Sometimes you really don't have much choice. That's just how it is. My sill is three inches. We have three and a half inches on the here, so we're perfect. We're beautiful where we are now. All we need to do is just put our sill and we're good to go. So here being as we have a big, as you see here, I have a small and a big, I put a medium on top. Right here I have a medium and I have a big, I'm gonna put a small right here. Pretty simple and pretty straightforward, I think. What do you guys think? You think it's difficult? Okay, so now that I know that I have my level where I want it, now I can just go around. Just work from this level here, follow the same line that I have, we're good to go. Um, you know, if you don't have a line here, we want to make sure that this one is done. Over here as well. Make sure it's nice and straight. Beautiful. Now we're just going to continue on. What do you think, guys? We're going on, eh? Not too bad. Right here, we have a small one. It's all in here for our medium now. So we've got to put a piece of medium here. We're just going to measure right here and see the size that we need to put. We want to measure, want to measure from this one that's already there. Looks like a five inches piece. I don't see any more space behind my, my door. Just in case later on they want to pop it open and change it. Or we want to leave a little bit of gap here. Time for an inch, quarter inch. This one right here. I want to make sure we match it up to this one that's already here. Right, this one is nice. Put it here properly. 
So now we have we are around three feet six. Now we're just gonna change it by putting a smaller different sizes. So we level there. Once we level, we put a wedge. Just gonna continue on. Same way. Make sure you, you match this one with the existing one so that way they have the same level. Once we go on top, you see what I mean in a minute. Keep on watching. Have to have here match up so that when we come on top here we have the same level go across. And let's go into that view. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. We have around three feet six to say, so now we're gonna break it. Here we have to bring this right down to the bottom of this one. Put our leg on it. Make sure she's nice and level.
Good daddy boy. Hmm? You're good. level of where I'm coming up you know you want to put your level just like this and make sure that your corner is nice and flat he's telling me that this guy need to go in a little bit that's where she's plump now we gotta come this side as well we gotta put her just like this make sure she's nice and flat beautiful beautiful guys we're getting there guys, slowly but surely, I have to finish this today. Okay guys, so this is where I'm at. One hour exact from where from when I start. Not too bad. Not too bad. We're getting there slowly. Slowly but surely guys, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
guys, so this is where I'm at now. Okay guys, so this is where I'm at. This is how much I I done. Start nine o'clock right now. It's five o'clock. Just give you guys an idea of how much you can get done. Go all the way around to the front. So I finished the entire back, the entire skirting. Okay guys, so now we're gonna use our wire brush. Now we're going to use our wire brush to do our rake joint. You want to sit, you want to have it here and sit them so that it's dry. You want to wait until it's dry because if you don't wait until it's dry properly, it's going to leave a mess on your stone. You don't want that. You see guys, I only brush in the area where the giant is. I try not to go over my stone with the broom. This way, this way if your giant wet and you go over the stone, you can make an ace on your stone. It's gonna mess it up, so we don't wanna, we don't want that. Only in the, the space, only in here, in the joint, you want to rub the broom, not over the stone. Okay, well, there you have it, guys. I don't want to join this video too long, but if you get value from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So if you like these type of contents, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. So when we upload more video like these ones, you get notified and you can come back and watch it. Thank you for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one.